Hi Bears, come with us to Ursa Scholars Week to highlight some of our undergrads and their research. Hi, my name is Noah and in my study I look at how marrow quality can benefit individuals who are bad at expressing their emotions and how that impacts them positively, uh, mitigating the effects of psychological distress. My research focuses on the spread of zoonotic diseases and tourist hotspots. Zoonotic diseases basically focuses on diseases that humans and animals can get from each other and so we focus on educational policies um, that can help increase tourists and residents understanding that their actions can hurt animals as long as the animals be able to hurt them. The study is about the effects of parent ADHD and how it impacts parenting in, during like stressful events like the pandemic. Hi, I'm Aramis, and today um, we're talking about how political affiliations and distress during the pandemic are related. I mean, I'm here to fill you in for the results. People who lean left are more likely to feel negatively, while individuals who lean right are more likely to feel positively. Hi, our experiment was about um, the painted butterfly larva, and we gave them epinephrine, which is a stimulant. We were able to use different concentrations of epinephrine to see if it affected the weight of the larva of the painted butterflies and also the weaning life and duration of the adult butterflies. So, my research is on how the decommissioning and creation impacts local communities based on income per capita and COPD, so chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, so like lung disease. Hi, my name is Marlo, and my research study is covering climate change and how temperature increases are predicted to affect native plants here in McLennan County, Texas. Hi, I'm Stephen Phillips. Um, this is my research here where we're using uh, zirconium metal to uh, basically make um, molecular like cyclic structures here uh, with the hope to incorporate them into drug design or um, do synthetic methods. So we were looking at residents in the Galapagos Islands and seeing if they were more likely to report being sick and having less food and less water to drink and we found that yes, those that are more sick were more likely to have less food and less water. So what I did is a seroprevalent study of chikungunya in Belize and El Salvador. Basically what that is, is looking for the chikungunya virus, which is a really nasty bug that gives you a lot of joint pains and a high fever, specifically looking at the Belize and El Salvador population.